Adnan Abu Hasna, the media advisor of the United Nations Relief and Work Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, told CNC that Palestinian refugees in Syria and Lebanon are enduring tragic, dangerous conditions, urging for more international help. Heavy, you know, task on the shoulder of uh, UNRWA. We work. We are not working in a stable area, a fragile area, actually, the Middle East. Also, what is going on with Palestinian refugees in Syria? More than 300,000 people from Palestinian refugees they fled their homes, and here got a great discussion for the infrastructure, for shelters, the increased number. Of, okay, the, the increasing in the number of Palestinian refugees, the highest in the Middle East. The demand is very high. At the same time, you know, the increase in budget is not equal to increase of the demand. So there is a gap. We are trying to cover to cover that uh, gap, but we feel it that every year that the task and uh, you know what and the demand is coming more and more. So UNRWA uh, needs more financial resources. Need to take some uh, internal also measures. You know, so it can reduce the expenses. The UNRWA, established in 1949, provides health, education, and other humanitarian aid to Palestinian refugees in the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, Jordan, in addition to Lebanon and Syria. Abu Hasna said the UNRWA faces severe difficulties in providing needed services to Palestinian refugees, especially those in Syria. The fighting in Syria has forced many Palestinian refugees there to flee to neighboring Lebanon and other countries. It is a tragedy there that you have hundreds of thousands of Palestinian refugees in Syria, especially that they you know, fled their homes and are not trying to cope with that, especially in Yarmouk, trying to get there to, uh, to help the people, but uh, the conflict and uh, the crisis among you know, armed groups that are not allowing us okay, to get into the camp. So we are trying to help people around, you know, who fled the camp around the, the camp. And sometimes we succeed in helping them inside the, in the camps. And it's also affecting the Palestinian refugees in Lebanon also, that there are tens of thousands they have fled their homes to Lebanon and they are in the camps, which is very populated and in a very bad situation there also. What is going on on the ground and the conflict and the armed conflict and uh, it's very difficult for human beings and people trying uh, uh, to flee the area, you know, to save their, save their lives. Because of that, we think that a peaceful solution, peaceful solution would be in the interest of everybody, in the interest of the Palestinians and Syrians and also for the EU countries that they cannot, the EU countries without complaining about waves of people that fleeing their countries to them. He also urged Israel to end its nine-year siege on Gaza, where two-thirds of the population are refugees, describing the situation in an enclave as worrying. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has recently called on the UN and international community to exert pressure on Israel to allow Palestinian refugees from Syria into the Palestinian territories to minimize their suffering.